Hey everybody, Justin Worden at SMTA International in Minnesota, and you're watching What's New in Electronics. I'm with Miles Moreau at Kick. Yes. Man, how are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. It's uh, came out here from San Diego, so a little bit cooler weather, but uh, it's good to see all the people at the show. Yeah, absolutely. Now, are you exhibiting or are you just walking the floor? Uh, we have a we have a booth here. We usually do. Um, we're part of the SMTA, a corporate member. So uh, we like to participate in their events. Well, that's wonderful. I can tell you this year, this show is buzzing. There's a lot of people walking around and a lot of people talking about a lot of things. But one thing I know, you guys have some announcements you guys want to make. Tell us what's going on. Uh, yeah, we've actually this year been really busy uh, and working on a couple of things. We have, we have kind of a, a range of solutions that we provide in thermal processes. That's our expertise, is anything to do with the soldering processes, reflow, wave, uh, selective solder, curing, anything like that. And uh, we have one area that we kind of have kind of the market lead in is our prediction software to help our customers set up their process, get the right recipe on the oven. And we've come up with a new kind of search routine in our prediction model to enable customers, especially that have a high mix, low volume, changing over the lines maybe multiple times a day, um, is a common recipe finder. So what that does for the customer is, instead of waiting for the oven to change to the next recipe three or four times a day, is we have a model that can take the profile across, say, a dozen assemblies and look for a setting that will work for all those different assemblies. Well, I can see why that'd be so important right now because with supply chains and the burst of EV electronics and everything, I mean, streamlining that process, you limit the downtime, you can produce more boards, right? So how is the EV change and the supply chain issues really impacted your business? Uh, in a big way, actually, because uh, we're seeing is markets that used to be mainly focused in Asia and China now moving to different areas. Uh, where our customers have our products, uh, these are new products coming out, so they have to develop new processes. Uh, so now we have uh, all that happening in regional markets all over the place. So they have to be better at these kind of advanced manufacturing capabilities. And that's where our, our solution kind of fits right in, is now we give our expertise to those regional markets, uh, especially when it comes to, you talk about EV, very complex, products and when they have to do changeovers uh, it's really time consuming so one driver we have is is the OEE overall effective uh, equipment effectiveness and that we can improve by a lot by optimizing these recipes so that multiple boards run under the same recipe. So I imagine with you know, I mean, that area of expertise, you guys gotta be busier than ever. You know? And I know most people already know the name Kick. You guys have had a big name in the industry for a long time, but there are people that are gonna be watching this for the first time and just now learning about you. So what's the best way they can get a hold of you? Uh, the best way to get a hold of us is off of our website, it is kickthermal.com. So the company's Kick, but uh, it's uh, Kick Thermal because that's our expertise. Dot com. We have a whole range of solutions that we explain there, a lot of tutorials and information for the customers. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of us. So. Well, I can tell people are starting to gather around your booth, man, so I really appreciate your time, Miles. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Justin.